What's going on guys? It's Paul or the Cobb Brothers. You guys don't have to call me that anymore, but uh, we're going to be continuing onward here. Try using the Helipax boost jump to feature to climb this, this box. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You can jump up here. By pressing R1 and X, you'll be able to fly and stuff like that. Be able to glide. And uh, with this, we can actually unlock a lot more skill points and stuff like that. But, but, we're not going to get them right now. We're going to be getting them at the end of the game. Because, well... We can't really reach everything unless we have every single thing, and I don't like getting things piece by piece. I like getting them all about like one at a time through one run, and we have a glide feature now, so it's a lot more, um, I guess, fluid. The controls are a bit more fluid when it comes to jumping, and I just got shot right in the face. Uh, but for the most part, it's still kind of uh, rusty with the strafing. I really want to get that thruster pack upgrade. I know a lot of you guys are talking about it. I know about this, uh, but uh, it's not as good as it is in the later games. I'm not complaining, but it's just its just really weird. <laughs> Awkward-ish feeling. Now let's see. Heading up here, we should have... Oh my god, this looks epic. Generators of enemies and whatnot. Let's get rid of these. We're going to need all the bolts we can because they're going to run us for some more money sooner or later. I know they will, trust me. And, uh, yeah. Now, guys, the thing I love about YouTube is just the fact that people actually like watching me play. I know a lot of people say, thank you for uploading. Uh, I'm going through a tough time right now, and uh, this is really helping me out. No, thank you guys for watching, because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. And this is just a really epic hobby. I just love knowing that there are people out there watching my videos. So, give yourselves a pat on the back for that. Now, let's head over here train station now there's supposed to be a secret set of boxes back here somewhere and yes i'm gonna take that as a secret because um even though that's a secret i must have collected it get these guys out of the way wow i don't want to jump onto that yet now if you come around this corner let me get these first before someone cries about me leaving this money someone's got to be really cheap though but around this corner there's a wall of boxes so get rid of this and uh yeah guys, some people were requesting me to do a vlog and stuff. Now guys, I am a bit camera shy, I've always been, I hated taking pictures. It's not that like, I'm but ugly, it's just that I, I just don't like taking them, it's just awkward. I can't hold my face like into a smile for too long because it feels so weird. But uh, unless I'm like in front of a camera, if I'm like right myself doing commentary, I can always smile but it's kind of weird. Now, maybe, wait. I think a cutscene might happen, I don't know yet, let's see. Oh no, it's an in-game cutscene. Yeah, maybe if I do end up getting a lot of YouTube money, eventually I'll buy a, like an iPhone or something and vlog. But for now, I don't have anything to record with. My cell phone actually got destroyed in the rain one day and uh, yeah, I don't have one right now. It's kind of weird. But let's get this guy out of the way. And this train, I think it appears later on in later games, but uh, at the end there you can actually see what appears to be a golden bolt. It's not really, it's an infobot. Infobots are pretty much the main thing you get in this game. Like, oh, for those of you guys that don't know, I forgot to tell you guys this since the first episode. Insomniac are the people that made Spyro. I'm not sure if you guys knew that, but Spyro, the dragon, they made that. And just like Naughty Dog who made Crash Bandicoot, they are both done side by side. Let's get this infobot. Oh, uh, the train's stopping. That's kind of ironic how it ended up at the same exact time of me getting this. If this thing runs away, I'm gonna get back here. Oh, crap, I almost fell off. This guy's gonna set down mines, but we wanna get these first. Holy crap, a ton of bolts right there. Now, in this game, you don't really get that many bolts, because in the later games, inflation takes place, and like, uh, you get bolts out the wazoo you'll be getting like a thousand bolts and like a, a crate of boxes that's how easy it is on well, this game you actually have to work for it and here's the info bot let's see what we got greetings executive chairman drek dispense with the pleasantries lieutenant my sources tell me you're behind schedule you must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world yes sir as you can see everything is moving along as planned i'm counting on you lieutenant as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. 
Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Now, in this game, if you guys paid attention, Drek is pretty much the main boss character from the start. He's like the main antagonist. And we completed this area, by the way. He's the main antagonist, but if you look at his name in every cutscene, it actually gets longer. Like, he goes from Chairman Drek to Executive Tra Chairman Drek to Supreme Ultra Lord Sup <laughs> uh, Chairman Drek. It's really funny. And this taxi will take you where? Big Al's Robo Shack. So just in case you didn't buy the E upgrade, you can always head back there. And uh, there, I maxed out there. Let me buy the rest of this. But tell me if you guys like the bios. I know nobody else is doing them the way I do it because I made them from scratch on Photoshop. So if anybody else has them, they're leeching. Let's head to the next planet. Now, I'm going to be skipping through these flying cutscenes because they take up a lot of time and I really don't like wasting your time guys so let's head to this next area. Okay, I'm wa really waiting to see this in color correction. Uh, the area right here is a lot darker than what we're used to so... We have two paths we can take to save Skid McMarks or his agent. I've, I played through this and I remember most of this. Uh, not so, oh, there he is right there. Wow, that was easy. See how beast I am? It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Eh, he's okay. But I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... Shh. One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well... All right, you just keep that foot elevated. So what we have to do is get rid of the sand sharks because Skid Big Marks, the ultimate badass, is a skitty cat. Get rid of these guys. Oh shoot, I should change to the bomb glove because this is just... Oh! What the hell were they doing? These things are suicidal, man! Get rid of this one, get rid of this one, come on, get, get out of my way, get out of my way, thank you. Let's head over to that generator, let's get rid of these craps. Get out of my way, get out of my way, get out of my way. Rip, rip, rip. I'm gonna just shoot my way through them because I don't want to get hit. I really don't. And I got hit, of course, right in front of Nanotech as well. And around this back wall entrance, there is a gold bolt. I don't want to touch it, no. I can't. If you guys want to grab it, you guys can go ahead. Because there is a listing, like I said, of how many bolts you've gotten, but in the end when you're... I'm getting ammo for a gun I don't even have. In the end, when you're looking for them at the same time I am, it's going to be kind of hard to keep up with what you have and what you don't. Even with that counter. Let's get all these guys out of the way. The bomb glove is good for these type of situations where tons of enemies are running at you. Unlike the blaster, which takes out one enemy at a time. But I, I just don't like the fact that you can't lock on as easy. We have two more over there. Is there one more over here? I think there is. Or they're on top and they're being shot down here. Get these guys out of the way, blow these guys up. One's over here, wow. There we go, now there's only two more. Get out of the get out of the sand. What are you doing? Little Billy Bob. Out of here, get out of here. And five more. Oh, I'm taking out a whole bunch right here. Okay, so that should be it for these guys. Now let's head over there. Only four shots left. Can I do this? Okay, we got tons of bomb ammo now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mine, 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 mine. That's what these guys remind me of. Three, one, two. 
Two. I didn't even think that thing was still here. One. Damn it, there's still one lurking around. Now I have to go back and find it. God, God damn it. Oh, he's right here. What the hell were you doing? Here, man. Catch. A brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. Okay, so now we have a hoverboard, but we can't actually use it at this moment because... Wait, let me search this. Because we don't actually have a racetrack to use it on, so... Kind of pointless. I hit that on purpose because I saw this nanotech. Let's go save his agent. See what his agent has for us. And we can just travel throughout the ship here to get to the other side. Now, I believe this should, like, activate a shortcut, I guess, sort of. Not really. Oh, yes it does. Let me buy some more bomb ammo with this newly acquired money. And I, I don't really like the Pyrocitor gun, but I, I think I'll just show you the bio later on anyway. Because it's very close distance, it's not far distance like the blaster, like I said. And it's just, it, it, I don't know. I'll, I'll try it out later on. But for the most part, I can't really get that close to enemies without panicking. In my opinion, in this game at least. In the other games, I'm just super overpowered, but in this game, really weird. Now some of you guys said this was your favorite game uh, out of the three that were included in the trilogy. I want to know why. Tell me why, guys. I really want to know. I'm not saying that it's bad or anything, but I just want to know. Does it have nostalgic memories in it or what? Because I didn't get this game first. I got going Commando first. Ouch. Got shot right there. That guy gets taken out. Let's grab some of these bolts. And there's nanotech, so I'm going for that. Oh crap, I got hit. Come on, come on. I'm trying to make good time here. Oh, no, 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 shit, man. It just... Thank you, thank you so much. I just was about to go full on rage mode. No, we don't. There we go, bam. Take out these guys. Two hits should do, pretty much. Cross these things. Oh crap. And take out this guy. He's about to fall into this escalator. Oh, a tower of bombs. Gotta take that out. Gotta take that out. Come on. Let me take that out. Yeah. Tons of bolts. And, uh, let's see. What's down here? I'm gonna jump. I don't care about this stupid elevator trying to ditch me. I wonder if you guys can hear the controller, it's so quiet. But I hear like Xbox 360 controllers are pretty loud when people do live comms, but for some reason my controller is just like dead silent. Of course, PS3 controller. Oh no no no! Oh crap, that was close. Really close. Don't screw this up, Ratchet. I can't even do it when I'm not playing Jack and Dash or shit, man. Alright, nice. Get these bolts out of the way. We switch to the blaster for this. That was stupid. You stupid. Stupid ass explosion, damn it. And there was a lot more uh, suggestive humor in this game than in Jack and Daxter. Right? Surprisingly, they really went on the edge with some of the jokes. And you guys will see them later on. I'll even point them out for you guys. It's pretty hilarious. But, let's see, I think we're almost at the end here. Jump up here, and go to the left, or no, right. And on top of this tower we have more TNT. Jump up here. Get rid of this. And I think the agent is right there. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a rating. We're going to be seeing this cutscene, but... Uh, Please remember to leave a like, and if you guys can, subscribe. This has been Paul, and I'm out. Peace. Ugh, no signal whatsoever! This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet, and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey!
We saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. <laughs>